This episode brought to you by SubSoap. This month only, purchase the Infinity Bundle. Pay once, get new games forever. Visit infinitybundle.com. Christians acting like Christians. Atheist Patrick Green of San Antonio, Texas, recently received some bad news. He has a detached retina and is going blind. Prior to receiving this diagnostic, he was threatening to sue Henderson County, Texas for a nativity scene placed on government property. County officials admit that they may eventually be forced to move the religious symbol to stay within the law or face costly lawsuits. But Mr. Green's recent medical news pushed the former Air Force officer and taxi driver to put an end to his legal efforts and focus on his finances and medical condition. He has now been forced to give up taxi driving and struggles for money. The surgery to repair his retina would cost $20,000. However, without the ability to drive his taxi, Mr. Green cannot afford even simple groceries, let alone expensive eye surgery. Upon hearing the news, the people of Athens, Texas, decided to become involved in Mr. Green's life. It all started with church member Jessica Cry, who decided to take action and phone Sand Springs Baptist Church pastor Eric Graham. She suggested that the faithful should come to the rescue of the atheist. Mr. Green was then contacted by the preacher, who discussed his needs and offered support. Mr. Green initially rejected the church's offer to pay for the retina surgery, but finally agreed to help with some of his living expenses. A few days later, a check for $400 arrived. Mr. Green was so moved by the outpouring of Christian generosity that he said, these people are acting like what the Bible says a Christian should. Alleged cult members are linked to killings in Mexico. Members of a poor Mexican family are suspected of being followers of the Santa Muerte or Saint Death cult. Before being investigated, people used to take pity on them. They received help in various forms, food, clothes, and farm animals. While the men were known trash pickers, some of the women are suspected of being prostitutes. Among the cult's victims are two 10-year-old boys and a 55-year-old woman. Their throats and wrists were cut using knives and axes, their blood spread upon an altar. These crimes are thought to be part of ritual sacrifices linked to Saint Death, a hooded skeletal figure similar to the Grim Reaper. The first followers of this new saint were criminals, however, is becoming more and more popular among the Mexican population and American Latinos. In total, eight people were arrested for these crimes and paraded in front of journalists on March 30th. Questioned by reporters, one of them said the saint was going to give the money in exchange for the killings. Multiple religious groups speak out against the religious right. Seattle, Washington. Representatives of numerous religious groups, including Christians, spoke out against the religious rights strategy to ensnare or convert school-aged children to their own brand of Christianity. For example, they used the Good News Clubs to make their way into schools and teach students that their form of belief is the only true one, that Episcopalians and other liberal religious groups are not Christian. They even encouraged the students to be anti-gay, anti-Jewish, and against other faiths or beliefs. During a program called American Podium, Author Catherine Stewart explained that thanks to a 2001 Supreme Court decision, 3,500 Good News Clubs have gained free access to public schools that they have come to call Houses of God. Their aim is to indoctrinate children in order to eventually turn America into the religious rights idea of a Christian nation. Stewart concluded that the right-wing evangelists may say that they want tolerance, but in fact they want control of the nation. Forget about it. It's not true that 16% of Americans are not religious. For a long time, atheists have claimed to represent 16% of the American population. However, if the most recent Gallup poll is to be believed, that number is closer to one-third of the population. The report classifies 40% of Americans as very religious, but 32% claim that religion is not important to them and they almost never attend church. As for the remaining 28%, some of them say that religion is important but chose not to attend church services regularly, while others claim that religion is not important, but all go to church anyway. Not surprisingly, southern states are the most religious, Mississippi and Alabama claiming the crown of the most pious. Meanwhile, citizens of Vermont and New Hampshire are the least religious, with only 28% of them claiming that religion is an important part of their lives. 